It's uh, 5.30 in the morning now. We are here since half an hour. We already spotted a couple of road years. Uh, it was too dark to, to see exactly what they were, but, but at least we know they're there. We'll be looking for them as well as wild boars. Uh, it's very fun, very challenging because of the high grass, but there's many of them, so it will be fun. Let's go and try. Babies there, so we won't shoot it just 40 meters away and not uh, imagining we're here. But that's not the right thing to do, so let's go and try for the bigger ones. it this morning we were not very lucky or, or better we were very lucky but uh, you know it seems easy to stock raw deer but when you do it in this uh, high grass and you just see the ears it's always very hard so we were lucky to find them they were smarter and <laughs> went away anyway this is it this is hunting we will try again this afternoon but the good thing now it's almost eight o'clock we are here since four hours so it's good to have a good rest and we have time to, to relax and the good part is that we have time to enjoy the surroundings. So being here in Tuscany, food, wine, maybe we'll visit a village or something like this. We will definitely enjoy and then we'll try again this evening. This is really hunting. I missed, I approached many, we approached many, and finally the very last evening, this is the result. So, this is it. Rodier and wild boar hunting here in Umbria and Tuscany, it's probably one of those hunts where you start with medium expectations and you end up with an incredible experience. Uh, when you spot and stalk them, it's uh, really challenging. You see many animals, very active day, uh, and it's fun because you see them, you try and approach, it's always very difficult. And even when, uh, when you hunt them from a high seat, that, that's very fun too because you see all the nature and all the cypresses and all the things. It's, it's really a great hunt. Um, of course, the hunt is only a small part of being here. Uh, you hunt in the morning and in the evening and during the day, uh, you, can, you can enjoy one of the most beautiful regions in the world. So the Tuscan countryside, uh, olive oil, wine tastings, these wonderful medieval, medieval villages. So it's really an experience. Uh, from here you can go to Rome, you can go to Florence. Uh, it's probably 
it, it's hard to, to really describe the experience. I would say um, when you think about Italy the first time, you are probably uh, imagining you know, the, some rolling hills with the cypress lines, uh, with, some olive oil, with some olive groves and vineyards, and that's exactly where we are, and that's exactly where we hunt. So I think this is the reason why uh, this hunt is a unique and probably the most classic Italian hunting experience.